In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Thermal Compact Pro smartphone camera from Seek, which is a very tiny and useful gadget that you can attach to your smartphone, and it gives you the incredible ability to see by temperature, which is a very, very useful superpower to have. So if you need a way to keep an eye on your surroundings in the dark, find people and animals at distance in low light conditions, check for energy loss, electrical and mechanical failures, or any other of the many ways that a thermal camera could be useful. This is definitely something you should check out. But before we dive in, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. All right, so let's dive in and take a look at the camera. And as you can see, it's incredibly small and a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be, but that's good because it makes it very convenient to always keep with you. And this version has a USB-C port and should be compatible with most smartphones and tablets that have this type of port. But they also make a lightning adapter for iOS and another with a micro USB port. You can also adjust the focus of the lens by rotating this ring right here. And inside we've got a 320 by 240 thermal sensor and it can detect temperatures down to negative 40 degrees and up to as high as 626 degrees Fahrenheit. And the camera itself has a 32 degree field of view. It also comes with a nice little waterproof case, which is a great way to protect it and help keep you from losing it. Holding the camera and the smartphone together in landscape mode is a bit awkward because the camera protrudes right where I want to put my index finger, so it is a little bit uncomfortable to hold in this position. But for most of the upcoming shots, we're going to be using a tripod, so this won't really be an issue. And in the vertical orientation, this effect is much less noticeable. In order to use a camera, you're going to have to install their app, but overall the setup is relatively easy and inside you get a lot of useful features like the ability to record photos and videos, a nice variety of different color palettes to choose from depending on your needs, different temperature modes, and the ability to zoom in digitally. The screen colors and the scale that you see will shift in an attempt to maximize the contrast, and there are a few different reticles you can use, including ones that take the temperature of whatever is in the center of the screen, and another that tracks the hottest and the coolest point at any given moment. This is the first thermal camera that I've used, so I don't really have any previous experiences to compare this to, but the video quality isn't the sharpest, and the frame rate is greater than 15 hertz, which is not bad. So while there is a tiny bit of lag, it's not too noticeable. Now that the camera is up and running, I thought it'd be interesting to run a flashlight on turbo, which should heat up quite nicely. And also we can compare the temperature data between the Seek Thermal and this handheld digital temperature gun. And at the moment we're running them both at the same time. And both of them were reading right around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And both seem to be relatively accurate, which is a great sign. And I'm planning to incorporate more footage from this camera in my upcoming flashlight reviews as well. One use case that really excites me about this device is its ability to detect both people and animals in low light conditions. And it has an 1800 foot detection range, which is approximately 550 meters, which is really excellent considering how compact the device is. A lot of times when I go out and shoot content in the dark, I have to do it alone. And being able to do a quick scan of my surroundings to check and see who or what might be out there before drawing a lot of attention to myself with a few thousand dollars worth of gear on me is something that will enhance my safety and give me more peace of mind. Anyways, as you can see here, there's a group of people in the middle of the dark field, and I was able to detect them much sooner than they were able to detect me. And after a few minutes, I noticed them splitting off in different directions as they started to head my way, which for me was a good indicator that it might be time to pack it up and move it along. I could see this being a really useful tool if you need to surveil your property quickly, or if you were hunting and wanted to see if there were any animals close by in the middle of the day or night. And thermal imaging definitely has its place in the toolkit of any prepared citizen who is concerned about any without rule of law situation. Another really great thing you can do with this camera and perhaps far more practical application is to perform an energy audit on your home and most likely you'll find plenty of places that could benefit from better ceiling and insulation around windows and doors and this could really help save you a lot of money in the long run on both heating and cooling costs which is more important now than ever as much of the world faces skyrocketing energy prices. You can also find electronic devices in your home that might be consuming electricity even in the off position. And if you find these items and unplug them or disconnect them, it can help save you a lot of money. It's also going to be really useful in situations where you need to check for moisture and help you identify the source of water damage. Overall, there are lots of great things to say about this camera, and every day I'm discovering new uses for this little gadget, but it would be great to hear how you guys might make use of thermal down in the comments below. And as always, if you want to pick one up and help support the channel, you can find a link to it down in the description below.